Hey everybody, welcome back to Plate Up. Today we're checking out a mod that was created adding sushi as a main dish. Plate Up is supported by Steam Workshop, so all you have to do to add mods like this are to go into the workshop tab within the Plate Up game on Steam. This main dish is really well made. In order to make the sushi, you have to cook two seaweed, combine them to make nori, cook rice, add it to the nori, and then add chopped avocado and chopped fish. I hope that with this addition of a new main as a mod, it will open up more and more modded dishes to be added to the game. There are so many dishes that would be fun to make, so I'm excited to see what happens. But anyways, if you like the video, like the video. Enjoy the rest of the video. So it's three groups, so it might just be enough to feed everybody. Oh, the rice is over here. <laughs> no. <laughs> The, uh, the cooked rice could use maybe a little more texture to it, but everything else <laughs> is good. Let's roll it up. What would you like? Some sushi? $8? That's pretty good. All right, let's work on another. Oh, I have to move the pot. I mean, I'm probably fine. Yeah, no, I'm good. Because there's only one more group coming, even if it's a group of two. Yeah, so automating, we need this, two grabbers out of here, and then two places to cook it, probably. How do you have the Scooty skin? It's a, um, it's in the Steam Workshop. It's called, like, the Streamer uh, Outfit Pack. I think there's, like, ten. All right, give me the big stack of plates. I'll just go ahead and get rid of these. Give me the research desk. Move the rice. Give me this. Yeah. Llama, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, hopefully, uh, whoever made this is probably invested in the modding Discord. So hopefully we'll get a ton of new uh, modded recipes coming soon. I mean, I, I definitely th like. I think all the updates that the uh, the main dev is making are fantastic. But like, I don't think new dishes are kind of like his main priority. It's probably new game modes and stuff like that. So it's cool that that load can be taken off of him. Oh, I have to add avocado first? Ridiculous. Can I just give you the whole roll? <laughs> Uh-oh, nope. Gotta chop it and then portion it. It is decent money, though. Not upset about that. 
Another research desk? Okay. Hmm. Definitely get a dining table. So now we can serve two groups. So then we'll get rid of this. Nope. Oh, I have to... Hmm. All right, well, I'll move the people up here. I think. Small restaurant's going to be sad for automating. Indeed it is. Sadly, it was not our uh, our choice. Especially if we get if we don't get new recipes, I don't think it'll be as bad, but All right, so we're definitely going to have plates and sink right here. Move this stuff over here. We'll go to hob setup. We'll put the hobs down here. Um, this is fine. Sure. I don't have a counter. I wonder what happens if I get, like if I do this on a Christmas mode and I get fish as a main, will it give me a second fish basket? Like what if I accidentally don't get this as the, uh, as the fish? I probably need a scrub brush or a better sink. Well, we got a lot of people today. Actually, this is fine. Won't they just not ask for that dish thin like they do with fish? I just don't know if it'll like bug out if it gives fish as a new main and doesn't give me a second fish rack and then accidentally gives me like pink fish. But I'm not playing on the Christmas map, so it doesn't matter. Safety hob and knife. Yeah, knife seems good for chopping. It's so small. Like, automation's probably not our biggest goal. Ooh, mandarin oranges with a bit of sushi? Oh, wait, you guys get to vote. I don't know how. Is there, like, an overlay? And I think it's, um... I think you get, it's 60 seconds. Oh, it's a chat poll. Oh. This is pretty cool. I've never done this. Oh, Yuna, thank you so much for the bits. Can vote more than once? Interesting. I feel like 60 seconds is a little long. I guess it's not that bad. Oh, and then it just picks it for me. Look at that. Interact to take slice, combine, and serve. Okay. Let's see.
And then come grab my oranges. Oh, it's a tree? That's great. You can spend like a million cookies and get un infinite votes on the card you want. Huh. Maybe that's the thing I can turn off. <laughs> Dish rack seems totally worth it. Fresh mandarins. Oh, we only serve the best here. I say we buy this. And then we'll upgrade into a freezer. Probably. Sushi new. Sushi is a mod. Hmm. I don't know the best way to lay out my restaurant. Let's see. This will be down here. I'll also chop the fish and chop the avocados down here. And then here's my mandarin. And I can start off cooking here. I think that's fine. Deleting research desk now. I don't think it's really worth it. I don't think it matters. All right, so how do we do this? That's it? Oh, you want more? How many do you want? You want four? Oh. I like it. All right, chop avocado. I think I'm... Honestly, I'm just looking for a knife. Rolling pin to roll the sushi? No. I'd much rather have a knife. Dish rack's gonna be great. So is it always... Oh, no, it's not. I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay. What kind of restaurant roasts its own nori to order? The same one that fries its rice to put it in the roll. <laughs> they can split it? Like, can I serve a bowl of four and they'll be fine? Or do I have to do it like I did? Oh, freezer. Only one way to find out. I guess you're right. Well, let's see if they, if one person wants two or, or two people want two or if one person wants four. Nope. Could I maybe interest you in extra? Nope. Well, now what do I do? Oh. Seems like it makes it kind of, uh, kind of difficult to automate. Because how do you only portion two? I guess you could smart grab two off. You could have one doing... Can they... It's either two or four? Okay, yeah. So you could just smart grab two or smart grab four. Or singles into a prep. Mm, let's upgrade the sink. Freezer for a sushi roll here. 
Sink. We, I think, yeah, still looking for knife. Not really looking for huge automation, I think. They keep offering me rice. Oh, I can get another tree. Oh, I can't chop it while it's in there? But you can portion it while it's in there, right? Yeah. Oh, you want oranges? I'm so sorry. Now you want sushi. Let's see, put all this up here. I'll go ahead and make another sushi. It'd be so cool if, cause there could be like so many different toppings to add into the sushi, or I guess you could do the side of a uh, soy sauce as well. I wonder if they'll ever try adding that. Oh, sorry, you want oranges? Yes. Oh, and you would like to sit? I'll get a blueprint cabinet. Oh, I got so many extra oranges over here. Let's see, throw that in there. Research the sink. Rice makes no mess. I didn't know that. That is nice. Are you the last customer? If so, I'll just leave that one in there. Thank you so much for the four months, Captain. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna choose formal. I feel like voting on that one doesn't really matter. Um, let's see. Sand. Oh, what is this one? Oh. I don't think I've seen this one. Let's see. Give me my blueprint cabinet. Could put another counter down here. What do we want to add? A lantern? And a rabbit poster. I'll put it up against the wall. And do I care for this stuff? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, we're looking good now. All right. Oh, I didn't... I didn't... Oh, no. Oh, well. All right. Let's see, how many oranges do you want? Four? Okay. They keep offering me rice a lot. Conveyor. I guess I could. Don't really know what I would want to get out of it, though. Yeah, we'll go dishwasher. Oh, you want oranges first? A four and a two.
I hate that it just like leaves loose oranges around though. Alright, you want sushi. I'll just put this in the dish rack. At least you don't have to bend the peel. I, yeah, okay, you're right. <laughs> that is much better. Or I should be able to eat them. Put the half orange back in the tree. Is that allowed? We'll try it. Oh, you can. You can just shove it back in there. <laughs> Alright, let's put this one in there. Yeah, and you put the, uh, the pit of the avocado straight in the roll. All right, you all get to vote. Choose what you want. Is Seaweed the first food that combines itself with making something else? I think so. It is a mod though. I don't know if there's any like in the game. How do you add mods? There's a uh, Steam Workshop option uh, whenever you boot up the game. This is very close. Yeah, I mean, someone could just put in like 100k channel points and it'd be worth like 100 votes. <laughs> but yeah, when you go to start up the game, like in the tabs of uh, Steam, there's one that says workshop and you can just do like subscribe and it'll put you on a like whatever you want. You can scroll through all the mods that are up there. It's 19k points for one vote or for how many is it per vote? Ooh, a knife. First one is free, then it costs 500. Oh, okay. 500 per vote. I feel like I should turn that off. <laughs> or it's a way to uh it's a way to fix the economy. People just burn points. Wait, no. I don't want to do that. Redistribute the wealth exactly. What does this add? Increase mass? I don't care. Add this back. Let's, uh, I guess we can get a better hob. Ooh, no, no, no. Let's get a workstation and then we can chop super fast. I guess I could do this. I'll be nice to him. Who would want onion rings with sushi anyways? That's what I'm saying. We got to keep the uh, the whole vibe of the restaurant consistent. All right, let's see how fast we chop the avocado. Oh, I love it. And then we'll even chop the roll fat. Or no, you don't chop the... Or that's chopping the roll and then this is portioning the roll. You want oranges, I'm sorry. All right, shove you back in the tree. Wait, 
since when do they add mess over the counter? Is that, has that always been a thing? Hmm. I guess I'm normally having two long tables and just putting them in the back. Let's make another one. All right, just two. Shove you back in the tree. Are these modded recipes? Just the sushi. The, uh, the oranges are in the main game. All right, can the sink clean up the mess? Nope. All right, I definitely need floor mats. There's four for you. Oh, I have a plate in the freezer? I think you're the last customer. Can you put sliced fish back into the fish dispenser? We'll try it out. How are two pieces an entree? Uh, it's three pieces. <laughs> I agree. I mean, it's similar to the dumplings. Like, three dumplings is not an entree. So I had a buddy, and this was a while ago, to give him credit. We were in college. And he, we went to a sushi place, and it was in like a very rural area. So like the sushi was fairly cheap. And it was half off day. And you could get a California roll, which is probably one of the cheapest sushi rolls. And it was like $1.50 for like a California roll, like six pieces. But he thought, he had never had sushi. And he thought the dollar fifty was per little, like cylinder of like sushi piece, and like honestly, at some places, like if you have like a ten dollar sushi roll and it's ten pieces, it's a dollar a piece. So he ordered eight of them, <laughs> and it was only twelve dollars, so not too bad for sushi. But they brought out like the like the wooden boat you see <laughs> at like certain sushi restaurants, but it was like. <laughs> 40 California rolls. <laughs> and then he was freaking out because he thought he was about to spend $50. I was like, nah, man. I was like, I thought you were just hungry. <laughs> but I mean, he was excited. He wasn't complaining. Why'd you not warn him? Well, cause, I don't know. I just I thought he was hungry because it was a good deal. I thought he was going to take some home. Because I was like, man, you got a lot. He was like, you think so? He probably had about half. He took the rest home. Let's see. I'm going to try and get a, a chopping station. Why wouldn't the waiter be like, you sure? I, maybe, maybe some waiters just don't care. <laughs> They're like, it's not my problem. But it was just funny because it was like the huge, like extravagant wooden boat. Uh, but it was just full of California rolls. <laughs> so, like, everybody was, like, looking as it went by. But it was, like, the cheapest roll you could get. Let's see. I'll throw this in here. I guess I need a hob, and I can just start cooking these. Also, I went to Outback uh, a few days ago, and they have this new thing on their specials menu. I didn't get it. But you know how, like, in, like, 
on TV for like in cartoons of like fancy restaurants, there's like the metal like dish where they present the food or like in fancy restaurants. Oh, my knife's over here. Uh, they have that now. So I saw someone order this steak and they walked by and it was like this giant glass dome full of smoke and they like presented it to them. And I was like, you're at the Outback. Like what's going on? I mean, it was cool. Like I looked, but. And I think it was like $40. And like, if you're gonna spend $40, don't go to Outback. I love Outback, but. Bottle service at the Outback? That's what I'm saying. Maybe I've been thinking about Outback all wrong. I was just there to get my blooming onion. Let's see, let's make another one. All right, how many oranges do you want? Two and two. All right, well, let's try if we can... Oh, no, we, we found out you can't. Maybe they're trying to change their image. Maybe so. So respect to them. Maybe 10 years from now, Outback will be a fancy restaurant. And it'll, uh, Gordon Ramsay will be visiting, being like, how do they do it? Those Australians are up to something. Even though I don't think it's Australian inspired at all. <laughs> Except for just the, the commercials. <laughs> Yeah, my, my brother's wife is from Australia, and we took her to the Outback. She loved it. She said she had never had anything like it. <laughs> okay, let's... I need to make another sushi roll. I just need to make some rice. wonder what the best fish for sushi is. In the game... Or in real life. I think tuna is the way to go. Personally. Yeah, let's see what we get. Give me the work. Ooh, we got the workstation. In the game. Probably this one. Because it's the only one you cut. Uh, I can't imagine slapping a whole pink fish on the... Uh, in the sushi roll. <laughs> or a spiny fish. Bone <laughs> bones and all. Oh, you don't want to. I'm sorry. How's it going, sheep? All right, let's see what we get. All right, let's go upgrade the hob. Wow, we keep getting grabbers. Yeah, because if we can get safety hob, we can just start cooking... Um, Nori or seaweed. All of our Outback restaurants in Australia are American themed. No, they're not. Don't tell me that. How many Outback steakhouses are there in Australia? Like, are there just a bunch of American flags everywhere? Guns up on the wall? Let's see, what do I want? Um... I'll put the counter over here. Steakhouse are popular, very cowboy. Well, I get that there's American themed restaurants. I didn't know there were Outback steakhouses that were under the same brand. If that's what you're saying. And they just change it up depending on what country they're in. 
because Outback is the is the brand of the restaurant. I'm not saying Outback as in like Australia, like it is called the Outback Steakhouse. So I assume you're just saying there are American steakhouses in Australia that aren't called Outback. Because that'd be a little absurd. Yeah, the Great American Outback. Uh, mixer? Sure. Oh, I don't need a plate. Back in the tree you go. Time for some mixer-made sushi? Exactly. That's like, I heard, um... So, Panda Express. Oh, I oh I froze a plate. It's like a very Americanized like version of Chinese food, and then apparently they opened a Panda Express in China, that served like what Panda Express serves here, and it was a hit. And now they're opening Panda Expresses over in China, because people that live there have never had stuff like that before. <laughs> But we call it Chinese food. The orange chicken. Yeah, that's the only thing I ever get. All right, you want four? And that's like most um, Chinese takeout places are all from one region of China or mostly from one region of China. Oh, there's so much mess. All right, what would you like? Four oranges. This one's going back. There you go. Oh, I need to make more. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, I got too excited about the Outback. All right, you want four. I wish I could just give you the whole orange. You could peel it yourself. But what kind of restaurant would that be? All right, I'm gonna go research. Oh, we got a danger hob. I don't think I want that. I mean, I guess I'll just save one roll or one order. All right, let's see what we get. You all get to vote. <laughs> Please don't give me meat soup. <laughs> oh, no. Somebody spend all their money. Don't give me meat soup. Soup for the win. I have unlimited... Uh, I have unlimited cookies. Am I allowed to vote? I am not allowed to vote. Well, I wouldn't have done it anyways. You just have to trust me on that one. <laughs> meat soups make, make no sense. Okay. Best soup at an Asian restaurant is egg drop. 100%. I like hot and sour, though. I think egg drop's got to be the number one. Thank you so much for not uh, making me take meat soup. Like tofu soup. Hot and sour number one. Uh, uh, all right, okay. Egg drop's my favorite. Miso. Miso I never really order as like a... Uh, 
as a starter. Like it just kind of comes with food at certain restaurants. Like I'll never order miso unless it's like a buffet or something or if it comes with it. Hot and sour, so hit or miss depending on the restaurant, I feel like. Going pho. I just meant it's like starter soups. Pho is really good though. Yeah, miso is what you get at like Benihana, like the Japanese steakhouses that comes with the meal. And that's great. Let's see, don't want the danger. Yeah, it's always like a side or a starter soup because like pho and ramen, I would say, you don't really get with anything else. It's just your whole meal. The best pho around me is in a in a grocery store. <laughs> it's called... It's, I, think, I think the restaurant's just called pho. <laughs> I don't think they have a name. All right. Let's clean this up. Give me my knife. Scrub, eh, I won't do scrub brush because I want to keep uh, I want to keep this Hold up, you want your oranges? Yeah Let's try a combiner Combining two cooked Yeah, we'll see how combiner works Oh, give me my knife back. Kroger sushi's your favorite? I think grocery store sushi's pretty good. Most of the grocery stores that have it, I would say it's like, it's pretty decent. It's kind of pricey because like I feel like at like certain sushi restaurants you can get like a specialty roll for like I don't know 10 to 12 but the rolls at the grocery store at least the one near me are also the same price and they're definitely like not as they're good but they're not as like I don't know there's not as much stuff or they're not as like complex <laughs> I guess is the word. The bento box set, yeah, those are pretty good. Or like the poke bowls, they make those as well. Oranges seem so unbearably slow. Um, I think if you just have a portioner, then you just automate it pretty easily. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. Hold up, hold up. I gotta make some sushi real quick. Just real quick, just real quick, don't worry. Oh, meat soup would have ruined me. Yeah, the oranges are basically oysters you don't have to cook. You just have to portion. But they are a appetizer. Does Grabber work on tree? Uh, I assume so. Do you have to cook oysters? Sorry, you have to shuck the oysters. Like individually. Oh, wait. Need Mexican food and plate up and guacamole, tacos. I think that'd be pretty good. I wonder if they'll do something for uh, 
Cinco de Mayo, maybe. I didn't put anything in the freezer. What do we got? So what can we try the combiner for? How many servings do you get per sushi? It's four. What if the uh, <laughs> what if the guac option is uh, it has to it you have to make it table side. <laughs> You know the places that do the table side guacamole? You like you can't serve it if it's already made. You have to assemble it on their table. <laughs> so then there'd be no automation whatsoever. Oh, this is getting cluttered. Or like a hibachi grill, you have to cook in front of them. You serve like big, I guess that's kind of like the Thanksgiving. You could probably set it up like that. I think definitely for uh, similar to uh, like giving ketchup or soy sauce, if they did like pasta, you could maybe have like a, uh, a thing of Parmesan cheese. And if they ask for Parmesan cheese on top of their pasta, you have to run to the table. And then you have to, like, shred some Parmesan cheese for them. Chips and salsa, you have to give them a refill on chips at any point during the meal. Are the modders writing this down? <laughs> you, have to, you have to grind until they say when. And then if it's up to, if it's on open chef, you yourself have to type win. So I could be stuck there for 30 seconds. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know how to use, wait, heated mixer. Heated mixer's terrible. Everything about this is, well, I guess I cooked the nori, but I don't mix that. I cooked the rice, I don't mix that. I just want to mix the avocado or the fish. I believe. So I'll re-upgrade it. You don't go in a circle, so I don't like you. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do here. I don't really know what I want to do with any of these. Combiner. Yeah, I guess I just hold on to him. Got rid of some stuff. Don't really care about you. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Oh, I can't. I didn't move my knife back. Oh, well. All right, just two. Oh, I got the other one for you. Oh, I got a portion. It. Mm. Hold up, I will clean your table shortly. Throw that on there. Throw this on there. That's probably enough sushi rolls. How many do you want? Oh, I have just the two. There's so much mess. That's ridiculous. I guess we did take the card. What was the other card we took? All I know is it wasn't me soup. 
You can combine two to get four? Oh. Oh, yeah, I did that. Single dining? Oh. That's why there have only been individual customers. <laughs> so maybe I look for a table, upgrade it to a bar table. More avocados. Don't think so. More walks, no thanks. I'll make another thing of sushi. I'll just save this one. I assume I get one for the most part every single day, but. And then you want oranges. The portioning does kind of take a little while when you have to do it for every single one. But I mean, most other appetizers are much worse. <laughs> like, I would rather give you or make four orange slices than soup any day. Gotta say. Hold on, let me research. I just want a rapid mixer. That poor fish on the grabber gave its life for nothing. Indeed it did. But I mean, these fish in this in this box aren't. They don't seem to be doing all right, anyways. Oh wait, no, no, no! Oh <laughs> no! Conveyor mixer. Yeah, I think we just buy it. Upgrade the dining tables. Actually, we still want to get a safety. Don't care about the danger. Is there a possibility for other types of sushi? Nope. At the moment, it's just one, uh, one type of roll. Yeah, I can survive one more day without the other one. Let's move this back. I'll buy here. Oh, what if I... Yeah, 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 let's just... How do you get sushi? Uh, it's in the Steam Workshop. It's uh, not official, it's a mod. Um. Let's do it like this. And then you'll just combine <laughs> the fish onto the roll, maybe? That seems okay enough. Sure. Mm. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, oh, more getting. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, yeah, I didn't put this over here to get researched. Hey, we got a bar table, though. And then safety. Three dangers in a row. Fantastic. Did I put my knife in the freezer? I did. All right, let's try and make a sushi real quick. Wow, look at all that time it saved us. Hold up, I need to get that. Mm. 
Get you your mandarins. Make another sushi roll if I can. All right, gotta serve you. Oh, it is raining too. Yeah, this is kind of a little tight with only two tables. But we'll get you out. It'll be no big deal. You're waiting now, too. Wait, please stop. Please stop coming to my restaurant. Okay, we're fine. Please stop. I need to make another sushi roll, sadly. Oh, don't burn. Oh. Let's see, both oranges. I'm just gonna serve the right guy. fine no worry at all and then we can make another sushi roll for the next day all right bring this one up here That was way too close. <laughs> that was much closer than it needed to be. All right, we're researched. Yeah, we're good. Got the hob. Well, let's see what the upgrade is. Can't be bad, right? <laughs> they really want us to go meat soup, don't they? Well. It's up to you all. I love that you get a whole tree. I do too. <laughs> I do, I do, it doesn't make sense, but I like it. It's time for the meat. You can do what you have to do. Way too close. One to three seconds away from failing. It was calculated. Don't worry. Customers arrive after closing. Yeah. I need to turn off the, uh, the channel points. Um, sway. So it's just like everyone gets one vote for next time. Okay. We have to try and get a safety hob once again. Bar table. I mean, this bar table is going to be a game changer. Look at that. You know what? 
I should probably be doing this. Um, upgrade another conveyor. Do bar tables combine? If you put them right beside each other, I don't think so. I think you can just do a row of bar tables. I don't think it'll turn into two. There's also, okay, so there's also a mod I downloaded, but it's not a guarantee. You can get a starter that is garlic bread, cheesy garlic bread. Bar tables don't combine. That's good to know. Oh, I was chopping too fast. I was so confused there for a second. I was like, what is that on your head? <laughs> but it was just the uh, the lan the uh, lantern behind him. Let's see, I'll go ahead and make another. Because now I got three tables. Like, what am I even, what am I even worried about? Give me another mixer for the avocados. I got some time to clean this up. Okay, maybe I don't. You guys are going quick. Let's see, you want four. Removes thinking. Yeah, bar tables, I think they order quicker. And you can't use any like placeable items. But like most most people don't do that anyways. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes the breadsticks for candles are nice. You can add an unfinished mandarin back to the tree. Yep. <laughs> you can just shove it back in there. I also love how the mandarin is like <laughs> the size of the tree almost. <laughs> Let's see, let's, let's make another one. I guess we already have one. Yeah, I don't think you go bar tables unless you have like guaranteed individual dining. All right, I'll take the sushi out of the sink, put it in the freezer. That's a little bit more uh, manageable. Yes, it is only ever two or four for the oranges. Similar to like oysters only one, two or three. So you can't get three slices, you can't get one slice. All right, bring this roll over. And then I'll make one more for the next day. I'll give you all this. This looks so big. <laughs> it's the size of an entire table. And it shrinks up so small. All right, I'll give you four oranges. Yeah, I've got research. I'll do it on the, the person on the left. Portion combiner set up to automate two or four mandarins. Yeah, you can, and, or you could just do like a smart grabber as well to grab it when it portions two and then have another one grab when it portions four. Notice fill up. Oh, I forgot we took the uh, arrive after closing. Hmm. 
Let's see, there you go. I might make a whole new roll. Might as well. All right. So we have another mixer for the avocado. I have gotten four danger hobs in a row. <laughs> oh, please leave me alone. How's it going, Hob? Are the restaurant guests viewers or subs? Uh, viewers. Used to exclamation mark visit. And you come to the restaurant. Wait, I forgot. I have this on. Okay, so we want... I'm just going to buy the mixer. Oops, sorry. Do that. Avocados. Feed into this mixer. And then... Just place the sushi with rice here. I don't need this anymore. So now I just need to make the nori and uh, rice. Which seems easy enough. And we can roll for stuff as well. Mmm, don't care for any of that. You know, we'll get you one coffee table right here. All right, let's try, um, <laughs> let's try the Mandarin with a portioner. Let's see how it goes. We'll move it back. It probably sucks without a prep station, right? I'd have to imagine. I don't know. Can you squeeze in between the oranges? You can't. We'll do it like that. Hmm. You could save a grabber. Yeah, if I need to. I don't really need a grabber at the moment, I don't think. For much of anything. Metal table. I'm not serving sides. I'll do this. All right, I think this is good. Well, let's see how the uh, the mandarins go. And I can, all right, so let's throw stuff in all of these. Don't want to upgrade anything. I don't need my knife anymore. So maybe I should have grabbed a scrub brush. I don't think I'm cutting anything. All 
All right, let's uh, let's start the day. do it all quite slow but that's okay so yeah so the only thing here is I just manually do the twos and then I'll grab the fours that's not that bad at all I don't think Yeah, because at least two, because this one's already instantly portioned for me. So I only have to portion one. Yeah, I love it. Sushi guacamole. <laughs> Sounds disgusting. Um, all right, another roll. Seaweed. Yeah, I'll, uh, I should be looking for a scrub brush. Here's you a four. Do I care for rapid? Maybe so. Grab this one. Yeah, I could be looking for fancy table as well to make more money. Just two slices. Here you are. And then I have more people coming after the fact. After closing. Yeah, the bar table's so nice. Because they just sat down and immediately knew what they wanted. Here is our after closing. Oh, okay. <laughs> is it not guaranteed to get people to come after closing? Um, oh, customers can arrive after closing time. Okay. Is there a way to like predict if it happens or is it just random? Uh, Neon, thank you so much for the one month. They come in if you take too long. Oh, so if, okay. So if there's still people I haven't served, they will then come. So I need to be fast towards the end of the day. That makes sense. Oh, scrub brush. All right, goodbye knife. We will, well, I guess upgrading doesn't matter. Because this restaurant is so small, I will just do a 15 day. So I guess let's roll it down, see if we can get anything good. The longer they are waiting, the more that will come. 
So should I intentionally like stall to see how many people come at the end of the day? Oh, give me the trainers and the safety hub. Oh my goodness. That's ridiculous. All right, so do that. Wow, beautiful. And then give me my shoes. And now all I gotta make is rice. What a day. I think this is good. The amount scales with the daytime amount? Oh. Okay. More orange trees? How much is it? We'll buy it. We'll, uh, we'll put it right here. All right. Our restaurant's final day. Manually cook second seaweed? It's so fast, it doesn't matter. I don't think. It's extremely fast. Like, I just pick it up and then wait a second. When I make the next roll, I'll point it out. Will you try sushi again in a bigger restaurant? Uh, yeah. I hope they get more updates to it. Because similar to when... Oh, I need my scrub brush and my boots. Similar to when the turkey first came out. Like whenever you could modify the date on your computer. Well, turkey itself was very basic. This one's actually pretty cool. But it sucks that there's no like variations at the moment. So I hope they add variations with the mods. Oh, yeah, look how quick the, uh, the seaweed is on the safety. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter too much. this roll you want four you want four oh I'm tracking dirt I kind of like the tiny restaurants. I think the big restaurants become too easy. But with the tiny restaurants, you're very limited in what you have to choose. Like I feel like overtime 10 on like a massive restaurant is like fairly easy at this point. But small restaurants, you, uh, you can't really have everything you want. Especially for automation, or if your like restaurant gets too complex. So if I just serve you as fast as possible, no one comes in, and the day's over?
So if you're good, or not if you're good, but if you're, if you're quick and you play around it and don't research at the end of the day, that card doesn't do anything. 